Well, Neil, congratulations. A fantastic 2-1 win here against Shrewsbury. Um, you must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, of course. Three points on the road. Um, obviously not been as long for me at the football club not to achieve that, but I know for the, for the, the staff, for you guys, um, for, for, the, for the players and, and the supporters, it's, it's been a long time coming. Um, August, was it, Dan? Mm. August, yeah, yeah, since August. Um, and, and that's why I was so happy after Exeter. I just said to the boys, after Exeter, I felt like it was a real real success story, um, getting a point in a clean sheet. And I think people, maybe <laughs> Les was a bit too excited over a, a poor performance, but a clean sheet. But that was why we had to start somewhere. You know, we had to start with a, with a, a, a back to the wall mentality um, to show that we can defend our goal, that we can be hard to break down, that we've got a bit of resilience about us, um, an aggressive nature to us. Um, and that was our reward today. Um, so that can't praise the players highly enough to come from behind in any game's difficult. Um, but the, the way we did it was, was very impressive. And, and, and ultimately, as much as Shrewsbury had a lot of the possession, um, but in the wrong areas for me. We, you know, we, we dictated where they had the ball um, and, and we looked the threat that could have scored more goals. Yeah, and after going behind quite early, it would have been quite easy for Heads to drop a little bit given the away record this season, but it was just a fantastic um, reaction from the players to go behind. It was, yeah. We conceded, and I thought we conceded against the run of play. Um, you know, the first real moment of getting in our penalty area. Um, but we, 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 didn't, we didn't go down. And that, no, that's something we've, we've talked a lot about, that resilience and that determination and the leadership. You know, the leadership from Michael Morrison and Ryan Bennett, um, you know, we need that. Jordan Cousin, middle of the park. We didn't go under um, to score so quickly um, um, and I was, was imperative and it gave us that platform to build on and to score right at the start of the second half as well was, was vital. Um, and there's been times in the tenure already where I've praised the boys at half time for a good mentality or performance and we've not started the second half quite so well and just think straight back to Oxford and, and um, Orient at home um, and we talked about that as a group as well and, and you know credit to my players you know they, they take the they take the, uh, the plaudits for that and then manage that second half really well really professional yeah I just said to Zeno Rossi even in like the 94th minute you know when he heads that ball away in their own box um, you know the importance of that you know everybody's you know important um, to, to, to the result um, I thought Georgie Thomas McCauley um, Zeno um, but James as well James coming had a real impact in the game didn't he and, and you know that, that, that maybe that little bit of confidence that we've not seen from James in the last few weeks um, you know just just was there again today you know when he came on um, and he has that shot that's headed behind for the corner and you know from where James at the moment unfortunately you know defender misses it goes in the back of the net um, so that, re re really pleased for everyone everyone's played their part Another headline grabbing performance from Taylor scored both of the goals um, just a fantastic start to his career here with Cambridge United yeah it is um, you know Lyle's working us out we're working him out the players enjoy playing with him um, you know I said to Lyle when he came in you know, I could still help him improve his game even at 33 um, and he certainly helped us as, as a group as well so re really pleased for him to get a brace today um, he's enjoying his football he's enjoying training um, he's got an infectious personality uh, and, and leadership qualities as well um, so you know it, it was a huge huge for him but huge for us for the, the brace today because not, not only gets us the three points but it just, just breeds confidence in the team and um, I was delighted with, with the assists um, Jack for the first one with the forward run you know Jack you know Dominantly known in the football world as, as a link player and come between the lines, but you know we talked a lot about him stretching play as well, and he can. You know he's a clever footballer, and he did for the first goal. And then Elias as well. They didn't get a load of the opportunities around the box, um, but the one moment he gets to show his, his class, he does. And now that the transfer window is closed, you can see the benefit of um, the new additions with the strength of the squad and the options that you had from the bench. Yeah, look, so straight, straight away, and I didn't need to mention Gibral and, and, and Seiko that aren't here today with us, um, that, that didn't travel because of, um, you know, just, just you know, couldn't squeeze everyone onto the bench. Uh, went with, went with uh, starting 11 that I thought could win the game and a bench that could really impact the game. Um, and it's really important for us. And if you look at the results we've had, the bench has come on and impacted the game. The ones where we've maybe not... Um, where we've lost against Leighton Orient, for example, maybe didn't quite have the game changers to come on and affect the game when we went behind. Um, so having the strength and depth is, is vital for us. And, and that goes back to, um, you know, getting um, um, Gassan and Fajiri and, and, and Harrison, when he's ready, um, back up to speed as well. And brilliant support there behind the goal. They've been made to wait a while, so they certainly enjoyed that one. They did, yes. I enjoyed that. My first away, away win, um, but also the delight for them. You know, again, I praise the, I called them the nutters that went to, went to Exeter. Not quite as far today, um, but, but still to come and support the team. You know, it's easy for a fan base to, you know, just to be um, 
it's just expected, taken for granted that you turn up and support your team. And that's not just the fans, that's the parents that come as well and, 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 and the, 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 the wives and things like that and the girlfriends. So, you know, thank them for coming um, and I hope that gives everyone a little bit of confidence and belief that, that um, when we go to Portsmouth and Carlisle on a, you know, long journeys on a Tuesday and a Saturday, so that they'll have something to cheer about when they go. Yeah, and eight points from the last four games, it sets us up really nicely ahead of next week's do- home doubleheader. It does, yeah, four unbeaten, eight points. Uh, it's a great return from the group, and again, they've praised my players for it. Um, you know, back-to-back home games. Um, we've got Bolton, a, a really good side, a really, really good side, um, and been long long time together in forming that, those relationships. Um, and then, and then obviously, Cheltenham, um, the team that are scrapping. So uh, two very intriguing home games, and we can cert- we've earned the right now to certainly enjoy them.